Why does it keep doing this? You're stupid. I can't, I can't get it. What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to Seven Craftopia. Now, last episode, we made this amazing machine over here, making us a whole bunch of batteries. Super fantastically amazing. Now, uh, we are going to address something right away, like in the beginning, right now. We're going to address it because it was literally like the most commented thing on this entire thing. Everybody was telling me to use the NPCs at the beginning of the area. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a whole bunch of these things and we're going to go try it. We're going to go do it. I'm just going to do it to please you guys. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. All right. So we're going to start with that. But I actually kind of want to focus on the farming stuff. I'm out of iron. Mm, wherever could I get iron from? Actually, I'm just going to see if there's any in here real quick. <gasps> Are you iron? That's silver. That's silver. Oh, we do not have any iron. All right, so let's go grab some iron. I told you I needed iron. I told you I did. Oh boy, we we have some iron, people. We have some iron indeed. All right, so I'm gonna make a whole bunch of those things. We're gonna run over there. We're gonna test it out. You know what? If it works, cool. If it were, if it doesn't, yeah, well, you know, that's it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure I'll use those generators at some point anyways. Actually, I wonder if I could grab this generator out of here now as well. Hmm, wonder in the ends of this. Can I grab you? Oh, I can! <gasps> oh, nice. Okay, all right, so let me make a whole bunch of cogs and let me make a whole bunch of things and we'll, we're will we gonna head over there and do the things. Okay, cool. You know, something else people were, they everybody was trying to inform me was I need to make the copper workbench. Everybody was saying copper workbench. Is there a copper workbench? I don't see a copper workbench anywhere. I don't know where I would make that unless it's, it's not in here because this just turns the stuff into stuff and it's not in here because it says item crafting stone workbench. There is, I don't see a copper workbench anywhere. So I think people are trolling. I think you're trolling me. Anyways, okay, let's go grab these things. Let's make those things and let's do the other things. All right, we have a total of nine small generators and somebody commented and they said something about something moving stuff or something underneath of stuff. I know that was super descriptive, but what I mean by that is like, you know how like there's things like falling randomly. Somebody was saying that there's a way to deal with that. And I don't know if there's like, is there like a vacuum sucker thingy? Is Was that a thing? Livestock from this whole, you get milk, eggs, other products. Uh, there are many, many items you can obtain from keeping livestock. Is this what it is? Does this like suck up nearby things? Maybe? I have no idea. We'll have to check that out. Anyways. All right. Let's head back to the beginning. <laughs> let's head back to the beginning area. And let's see if we could uh, get these people to do work. Also, people were also telling me to use the, uh, the Anubis. <laughs> to use Anubis to do it. So I was like, oh, that'd be great. That would be hilarious. Especially if we got two of them to put the Anubises. A new buy is new buy. Would it be a new buy on the uh, the breeders and see if that would work? I have no idea. Anyways, let's head here. Let's see if this works. All right, you wonderful people look like you want to work. Who wants to work? Uh oh. Oh. Uh, I didn't mean that. Okay, let's just get it close. See if we can get it close. Okay. Oh, darn it. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, they're dead. That's not gonna work. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Uh. Could, if I place that there, would you so kind. Oh, shoot. Would you so kindly get inside of that machine? No, I'm just gonna kill them all. What if I put it behind them? What if I set it like right here? No. Stop it! Why do they keep moving? <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Uh. Okay, hold on. Idea, idea. Let's let's pick these things up, okay? Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's unload. Let's go off this island and back, and let's see if those all, all those things respawn. All right, let's see. Are they back now? Oh my god, they are. You know what that means? That means we could build these where they're standing and then get them to respawn. Okay, you're standing right there. So I'm going to place one there. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing with this one. 
You're standing right there. So we'll put that one there. Oh my gosh, is this going to work? Tell me this is going to work. And then you're standing conveniently right there. <laughs> I hope this works. All right, <laughs> we got... <laughs> I hope this works. You know how many batteries we would have? Oh, we could have so many batteries. And all I have to do is leave and come back every time and wait. Oh, come on. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It is 100% working. And they respawn every time we load in here. Oh, my gosh. We're going to get so many batteries. <laughs> this is great. Oh, you know what? I have one more, too. Check it out, bud. I got one for you. I've got one for you. This guy was like, I'm safe here. I don't have to worry about working. And now it's gonna be like, oh no. Now you do have to worry about working. Oh my gosh. All of the batteries. All of the batteries. That is so fantastically broken. I love it so much. I don't have to worry about batteries anymore. I don't even need my chicken farm. I just come here and get batteries for free. Just load in, get batteries, leave. Oh, and they all dropped at the same time. <laughs> There's four batteries. There's four batteries. There's four. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So I placed down 10. Oh, no, I didn't. This last one, this last one didn't go in. But we could realistically expect 40 batteries every time we come back to this island. Because now, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh my gosh. And wouldn't you know it. All 10 are going. All 10 of them are working. And they're going to give us all four batteries, which means that we're going to get another 40 batteries. How many do I have? 109 batteries. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I don't need this many batteries right now, though. Um, so I'm going to wait for these ones to drop to give me the batteries. Uh, and then we're going to go play with the farming stuff. I want to see what we can do with farming kind of stuffs, you know? All of these poor people, they're just like, how did this happen to us? We're forever stuck in a loop of running to our deaths. Well, that's unfortunate. You know, it's funny how they drop eggs. Like, what is going on here? I don't get it. Um, I would say we have enough chickens here, to be completely honest. Um, so I am going to go ahead and remove this stone wall for a bit and let the chickens be cooked <laughs> because we have so many chickens and honestly we don't even need that battery generator anymore because we have uh temporarily we have uh we have some other things oh my gosh there's so many chickens all right perfect looking good uh we thinned out the herd a little bit and now i geez louise i have so much raw food right now that is crazy all right we went ahead and turned the uh turned the machine off so it's not cooking up any more chickens now let's focus in on some no that's not what i want i wanted this guy let's focus in on some farming stuff let's go see what we need for a sprinkler and i want to see if the sprinkler is going to do the watering for us i don't know if it will because it says something about holding in hand or something like that i don't know all right so what do i need i need 20 buckets of water and five cog wheels okay so let's just go ahead and let's get like 20 cog wheels going let that do its thing and then this guy over here should give us 10 buckets of water should be 10. i might need to set up some more wells too yeah there's 10 buckets of water um it would actually probably be fairly beneficial to put a whole bunch of wells right here too let's see what we need for a well all right so there's the cog wheels what do we need for the well let's go ahead and get like uh I guess two more of those. Let's get two more wells. <laughs> just, just the two. All right, we'll go put these over here by this one. There. Now we'll have like 30 at a time. So I need to get how many, how many more? I have 13. We need 20 in order to make a sprinkler. So while we're waiting for that 20 water, what do we actually need for the harvesting machine? There was the machine that did the cutting. Where is that? What is this? Absorber, work in progress. Device that will keep together the items that are scattered around. The nature of this dice device is methodical. Wait a second. So it's a vacuum. Wait, when did they add that? I don't remember getting that thing. 
When the heck was that added? Oh my gosh. That's the that's the magical vacuum deal. Okay, cool. Uh this guy. What do we need for this? Uh bioethanol. Oh darn it. Do I have is there wheat in this by any chance? There's not. Uh Hmm. Do I have any wheat flour laying around? I have 12. <laughs> I do have 64 wheat though, so we can go ahead and we can make uh wheat, max that out. That'll give us 32. Oh, uh, this is why we need the we need that wheat farm going for sure. And you know what? I think if we put wheat into that crop plot thing, or if that those are wheat fields, we should automatically be able to make wheat flour. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to automatically make bioethanol. I have no idea. All right, so I have the water. So we should be able to go ahead and make a sprinkler. Now, like I said, I don't know what this thing is actually for or how it actually works, but I have a feeling it's something automated. Hopefully. Uh, craft that. How big is this thing? Okay, one sprinkler. Equip. Oh, we do place it on the ground. I like it. Okay, so let's place it. Let's place it right here. So for testing purposes, because then we'll know if it does a like a two by two area, if it does a one by one area, uh, like how big of a, a spread this one sprinkler has. Oh, it's got a big area. Oh, it's got a good size area. Okay. So it does, in theory, four by four in a cross pattern. One, two, three, four. So let's do this. Let's pick up this one. Uh, we'll pick up this one because this one's not going to get done. And then let's go ahead and place those down. Equip. So we should be able to place one there and there. And those should, in theory, get watered, right? Oh, yes. And we should be able to put one there and there and then put another sprinkler right here. And that'll cover all of these. Oh, my gosh. Guys, the automation in this game is super cool. It's completely like, it's so different. It's so different, but I love it. Why is this one yellow? I don't really understand what's going on with that one. Hmm. But I know I need I need another 20 buckets of water. And I already have 15, so that's super handy. Now, uh, I need bioethanol, and I don't have enough. So we're going to have to actually use this and go hacking and slashing. Maybe I should be using the stick for this. Well, I guess I don't think it matters. Okay, so I should have enough to make another sprinkler. And you know we're going to. Absolutely. We need all the wheat we can get. Now, I'm actually curious about that whole vacuum thingy. If that'll automatically suck up all that wheat. And if there's a way to get it to transfer to something else, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do this, max that out, make 54, heck yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into here and do this, max that out, that's gonna make, make us four. Actually, that should be enough for uh, for that auto harvesting guy. Um, but we should also be able to make another sprinkler now as well, right? Yep, there's another sprinkler. Holy moly, these things are amazing. You know, I just like the fact that these things run off of like magic. I really like that, that I don't have to worry about that, like being connected and all this stuff. Like it just works. It does. Oh, wait a second. This is not the right size area. This needs to be picked up. This one needs to be picked up. And we actually need to go out two more that way, right? One, two, one, one, one. Yeah, I think so. Okay, hold on, let's get these placed. Uh, well, yeah, let's see. Do I have any wooden floors? I do. Okay, good. All right, so that should cover this area. And let's go ahead and equip this guy and place that right in the middle right there. That looks good. All of these should get watered at the same time. Am I right? Oh my gosh, it does. It actually works. It actually really works. Really, really. I can't even believe it. And you know what we could actually do is we could put another one like right here and then we could put the um, plantations or something on this one. They kind of intersect. Yes. Oh, I love it. All right. Um, 
Do we have enough bioethanol now to make that magic machine? The, the harvesting machine. That's... Oh my gosh. Bioethanol is so slow. What do we need to go to the next age? Uh, 20,000 gold. We need 20 titanium, tons of batteries, and a ton of bioethanol. But the bioethanol is actually the only issue here. Um, so that's not too bad. I could make more of these stations so we could get more of them going at the same time. Hmm, might not be a bad idea. You know what? I want to make one of these absorbers while we're hit, while we're sitting here. I want to see how big these things are, and I want to see if I can connect them to a conveyor belt. Uh, absorber. Oh, no, those are teeny tiny. Those are teeny tiny. So how is that going to work? Let's go. Uh, let's go try it out over here with these chickens because these chickens have a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. Yeah, like all that stuff. Let's see if we can get a place like. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Place that there. What happens? Oh, it's automatically collecting it. Oh, well, hold on a second. It actually looks like it's trying to move it. Is it trying to move it somewhere? Is there a storage? Is there an inventory for this thing? Or does it like randomly suck up and then turn off every so often and drop the items? <gasps> it does. That way you can throw them on a conveyor. Oh, so it's going to stack them all right there. And then ideally you'd have a conveyor underneath of that thing, whooshing it away. Oh, I like that. I like that indeed. We're going to need them right here for our wheat because our wheat is automatically going to be getting harvested. So in theory, we need all of these to be conveyors. And then they need to go into this pot because that would automatically turn it into flour. Yeah, that would automatically turn it into flour. Uh, oh my gosh, we got lots to do. We got lots to do here. Oh, I'm so excited. I love automation stuff. I love it, especially like like this game, I love the way it's doing it. It's different. It's not like it's non-conventional automation. And it's just, it's so much fun. I can't lie. It's so much fun. All right. So let's make our super amazing rotating saw cutter machine here. And I think this like rotate runs like back and forth, if I'm not mistaken. So we have that. Um, I need a bunch. I need a bunch of conveyors now. Okay. So we have the conveyors. Um, I do actually need one of these as well. And then we need a cooking pot in order to turn this all into flour. But I need a big pot. So I need two of these. Let me make one stone and charcoal. Oh, I think I'm out of charcoal. I am out of charcoal. I'm almost out of wood as well. My gosh. Hey, what's this? I feel like this is a. I feel like there's a cave here or something. Can I pickaxe this? There's a secret chest, a super secret chest. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got a, a raw, a raw silver ax. So that's 150 to 150. What's this guy? 120, but life damage 10. Hmm. I don't really know what that means. I'm scared to use it. All right. There's too many chickens in here. This is ridiculous. We got to get rid of the stone wall. We got it. We got it. We got to cut some of them out of here. Be gone, chickens. Be gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Missy, don't watch this. You would not approve. <laughs> There's so many chickens in there. You know what? I'm thinking that we might just get rid of this little system for now. Let's do it. Let's just get rid of this little system. We don't need it. No, don't don't remove the stone floor. You know what? Let's remove can we remove the fence? Uh fence. Yeah, be gone. Chickens be free. Have fun. I don't need this system right now. No, not the stone floor. No. Fence. All right, there they go. There they go. You get out of here. You get out of here, you chickens. Uh, not stone floor. I want to remove this thing. Actually, you know what? We'll just let... Oh, my gosh. There's so many chickens. So many chickens. Oh, they're just dropping because there's no place to put any of the stuff. All right, slowly the chickens will, uh, they'll burn out. Okay, so I have a bunch of conveyors. Um, we're working on the pot. Let's see here what I need to do because ideally, 
The only thing I'm worried about, I'm a little worried about what's going to happen with that machine. You know what? Let's get the machine out. Let's get the machine out. Equip. Okay. So, how do you work? I don't, I'm not actually understanding how this thing works. So what happens if I just do that? Do you move? Oh! It does move. Wait, so does it, does it recognize like where the nearest, where the nearest stuff is to, uh, to take out? Is that seriously just, is it that simple? It looks like it is. It looks like it's working just that simply. So, okay, my next question is, I'm thinking that we should probably place these fences down. So that way, um, the robot doesn't get sucked into a conveyor. Wait, are, do we even have to worry about that though? Honestly, don't even know if we have to worry about it. Cause look at, there he goes. There goes the dude doing the things. And then if I placed a, let's say a stone wall on this, uh, let's say we placed it right there. All right. Wait, why did that stuff automatically move? That's weird. Uh, and then I placed, uh, one of the super sucker deals. Where's the super sucker deal? What happened to my super sucker deal? Oh, my super sucker deal went. I think I have to make a new, another super sucker deal because I don't know where the other one went. It just disappeared. All right, so super sucker deal. If I place this, uh, I want to get it like right in between these. If I place it like, like that, is it going to automatically suck up all that stuff? It is. And then it's going to drop it for a second. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to reach enough though. Okay. So that is working, but it's only going to get half. These are only going to get half of this farm area. Hmm. So we're going to have to have these probably like every two foundations. So we're going to have to have one like right here. Uh, we'll have to have one right here and then maybe back here as well. And that'll cover this half. And then this conveyor can run out. And honestly, we're probably going to put a cook pot like right here if we can and get the things running into it. So hopefully the two conveyors will come down and then they'll just load into the same cook pot. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pick. How much stuff do I have? Am I good on stuff right now? I'm good on stuff right now. All right, let's go ahead and let's start picking up some floors here. Oh, they put giant arrows on the, uh, the conveyor belts now too. Neato. All right, so we want them going this way like that and then we probably actually need to go ahead and get this one removed as well we'll do that and then we're gonna have to have a turn and then go up okay all right so there's that and then i think i'm out of regular conveyors this should work i'm actually kind of curious to see okay so that works and it is going on the conveyors easy peasy well those ones did are these ones going to? Uh-oh. They're kind of getting like... They're getting re-sucked up. I mean, some of them make it. Some of them do make it. Okay, all right. Um, I gotta grab some wood because I gotta make more cook pots. Actually, I don't need to get another cook pot. I have this one. We're not using it right now. So we'll just, we'll just snag this guy. Uh... I wanted to access the inventory first, so. Perfect, and then we'll take this guy. Ta-da, easy peasy. Now, can we squeeze it underneath of this in order for it to work? I think we might be good there, should work. Um, I'm kind of rethinking this whole second side right now. I don't know how well that's gonna work. So we'll just kind of have to see. 
Kind of have to see like how that goes. Um, I need to grab some of these conveyors now. Look at those chickens. They're so happy now that they're not being cooked. Oh, they're so happy. Happy chickens. All right, perfect. So now the wheat should go in there. And I actually need to put up all the vacuums on that side. Uh, I also need to make up some walls real quick. So let's see. Stone walls. I'm out of stone. Uh, that actually reminds me. There are stone things over here that we need to get automated as well. I think that one's sand and I think that one's stone. So we got some more automation to do. All right, perfect. So we got some walls to place in here. So we'll do one there, there. Let me get on this side before we do this one. And there. And then I need these uh, super sucker deals. <laughs> super suckers. Uh, and I guess they can just be roughly. Actually, you know, honestly, higher the better probably on these. Oh, that one wasn't very high. That's fine. You know what? Good enough. I should hopefully suck up everything. We have massive mass suckage and it doesn't really look like it. It just doesn't look. It's not reaching all the way to the other side. Which kind of stinks. Kind of wish it would reach all the way over there. But I mean, I guess I could. You know what I could do is I could always put them on here and then run conveyors behind this. So they all go into one deal. That wouldn't be too bad. We could do that like immediately. How's this guy going? There should be, if I'm not mistaken, should be wheat flour in here. Uh, there is. Oh, there's bread. Oh, it's making bread. It's not making wheat. It's making bread. How do I, I don't want to making bread. I, I, don't, I don't want bread. I, I, I need the wheat. This is supposed to be a wheat farm. Make it wheat. Uh, okay, so I guess we have bread, but I want the wheat flour. I don't want, I don't want bread. Wait, so, okay, so what is the recipe for bread? Uh, wheat flour. <laughs> Darn it. How do I make just wheat flour? I don't want bread to be made. Okay, all right, all right, all right. New idea, new idea, new idea. Not the worst thing ever, because now we have bread. Bread is handy. It's not as good as fried eggs, though. It's not nearly as good as fried eggs. But it is bread! That is actually, honestly, the worst thing. <laughs> it's the worst thing that we can make off of this wheat. <gasps> we need to make bioethanol. Um, alright, this is gonna get changed. I don't want... I don't want a cook pot here. I can't pick it up right now. We'll stop making stuff. Okay, I actually want a storage. I want a storage container. I want a storage container and I'm going to make a whole bunch of, oh gosh, we're going to have to do it manually. We're going to have to do everything manually, which kind of stinks. Like I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to leave a comment below. If you know of a way to automate like bioethanol. Because the only thing I can think right now without making bread, because I don't want to make bread, is I'm going to have to make a storage for the wheat. And I'm going to have to go through and pick up the wheat every now and then, spread it throughout some regular cooking pots saying that I want wheat, and then take that and then, then put it into uh, the bioethanol machine deal. You know what I mean? Oh, darn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. All right, we're going to have to redesign this a little bit. Nothing crazy, though. Nothing crazy. Let me go get a large storage deal, uh, and then we'll go We'll go from there. Okay, so I got the um, I got the machine, or I got the, the storage. Now, did we have a medium cook pot? No, we just have a large. Okay, so I'm going to need to make a whole bunch of these, and I'm also going to need to make a whole bunch of... Actually, you know what? We need more conveyors more than anything right now. So... Let's start with, what's max? 79, no thank you. Let's go with 15 instead. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. Uh, and then we're gonna start placing out stuff and we're gonna start making a new area. Basically, this area could pretty much go because we're not utilizing this for like anything whatsoever. All right, so let's see this guy, this container. This thing is massive. Oh, it looks like we can place it just like this. Ooh, that could be handy. I wish I could have it right there, though. I could have it right here. 
That'll work. I will happily accept that. Uh-oh. Should have removed this floor first. Oh, perfect. That was too easy. Nope. Wrong, wrong one. R wrong wall horizontal. All right. There we go. Okay. So that's being stored. Uh, and I don't need anything coming out of that because we don't need that. So that's going to get uh, this half. So basically, I think I'm just going to run another one and going around into the same area. And then this will all eventually get stored. And then I should be able to access it from here to grab all the wheat out of there. That'll be fantastic. I need to go through and finish up building this and get this cleaned up real quick. Oh! Whoa! Stop trying to kill my things! What are you doing? What the heck is this bull doing? He's freaking out. He's lost his marbles. Oh, he's doing so much damage. Stop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why does it keep doing this? You stupid. I can't, I can't get it. If you start destroying stuff, I'm gonna be so mad at you. Oh good, yeah, get it. No, it's stuck under. Go away. Oh my gosh, this guy was just not having it. He's like, hey, all your stuff, I don't like it. Are you seriously about to do the same thing? I'm I'm gonna have to take you out. Get out of here. Oh, don't even. Don't even start with me, son. I don't know why you're so angry with me. You know what? You know what? I got something for you. I got something for you. It's called the Wrath of God. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get over here. You won't. I missed him. <laughs> Darn it. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Buffalo. Man, this guy's a jerk. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one's gone now. Thank goodness. Those guys are absolutely monsters. They're terrible. Okay, so I got my conveyors done. I got my walls up. So now I just need to put the little vacuum sucker deals on. And my whole farm area should be good to go. Also, I did... Look at this. I went ahead and I put a doorway out there so I don't have to keep running in and out. It's fantastic. Okay, all the little vacuum sucker deals are up here. Um, I actually need to put one right here as well. To grab those. And that should... Oh, don't tell me it's not going to grab those little ones right there. Are you kidding me? Is it seriously not going to pick up just those few? I don't think it's going to. If it falls on these two right here, it ain't going to pick up anything. What an absolute monster. All right. Well, you know what? We're collecting most of it. <laughs> there, there'll be some here and there that we don't get, but it'll be fine. So in theory, dun, 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 dun. That goes into there. Wonderful, wonderful. And then I select a stick, so I'm no longer placing it. And oh my gosh, do we have the wheat? Oh, this is so nice. So basically what we're going to do with this wheat is we're going to make a, uh, a whole bunch of cooking things so we can turn it into flour. Then we're going to make a whole bunch of the uh, boiling things or whatever whatever these things are. The what, are. what are you? Ripening chambers. So we can make ethanol or bioethanol. Um, but that's going to be in the next episode because that's going to end this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I'm thoroughly enjoying this and I'm having an absolute blast playing it. So hopefully you all are enjoying, but until next time, you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.